What's up boys and girls, welcome to Babushka Land. Today we're going to make a castle gate. Okay, so when you hit this button here, it goes down. And when you hit this button here, it goes up. This gate does not require you to use gravity blocks. As you can see, I have stone bricks here. And you can use anything you want in that space to make the gate go up and down. Whatever you feel like. You can also use gravity blocks if you want. This is an example of a gate that's kind of already being dressed up. Over here I have a gate that's kind of the skeleton of what a gate looks like. So this has all the functionality but I haven't put a design around it. And this over here is where I'm going to show you how to build one of these gates. But it's nighttime, let's get some better lighting. Right on, so first we're going to dig a 3 down by uh, 5 by uh, whatever length you want uh, ditch for the gate. So in this case I'm doing a 7 by 5 block outline that is 3 blocks deep. So in this case the gate is only going to be 3 fences wide. You can always make it wider like I've done over here. You are going to need 6 pistons, 6 sticky pistons, 4 redstone repeaters, 6 observers, 4 buttons, 23 redstone dust, but bring more because, you know, maybe I'm wrong, 6 redstone torches, 3 glass, but also bring more because, you know, you might break it, and uh, 1 or 2 or 3 stacks of stone bricks, maybe some stairs, depends on how you're going to design things. I'm definitely going to be using stairs, just a FYI. And you will also need... I think 12 fences because it's uh, four high by three. So yeah, 12 fences. So first we're gonna grab the sticky pistons right in the center and uh, place them like so. Okay, next grab your repeaters. You can place three down like this and grab some redstone dust and place it down like so. If you need to pause it and look, this is your chance. Next, we're going to grab some observers, face them this way, and we're going to put three blocks down like this. Then we're going to put some redstone dust on top like so. Now we're going to go over here with the rest of the observers and shift click to put them facing down, looking at the repeaters. Your build should now look like this. Next, put some blocks on top of the sticky pistons and observers. You can then place a button down here, press it, okay so it works. Now let's put those fences up. I'm going to tower up a little because they go quite high. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can hit that button one more time so that the fences go up. Take the button out. and we'll hop back over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a block here and scaffold up a bit. Put one layer of blocks right there. Then we're gonna build up one, two, three. Go down, take these out, and then build across a bit. We're gonna make one line, just like so. You want the pistons to be facing down, so put your scaffolding accordingly and set it up just like this. Done. So now we're going to go around the back side. And we're going to scaffold up a bit. We're going to place a line like this, then one more right here. Then we can move over. Oops. Then we can move over this way. Grab the glass, place one here, one here and one here. Next, put some redstone dust down like so. You get up a little bit higher. Hop over here, grab your last repeater, place it like this. Place some redstone dust down, just like that. Then come to the other side over here. Shift click and place a block like that and get some redstone dust on top here. All right, now we're gonna come back to the front side. 
and we're gonna place a block here. We're gonna place a redstone torch right there. Okay, some redstone like so. Then we're gonna go up two blocks, place a block like this, put a redstone torch right there, put some dust right there like so, and then we're gonna place two blocks like this. We're gonna place the stone button at the front of them, and then we're gonna to go to the other side and place these stone buttons at the back as well. Then we're gonna make a little scaffold tower, get a little bit higher, and we're gonna go torch, block, torch, block, torch, block, and torch. And we can hop over this way, and we're gonna connect the gate to this redstone tower thingy and put two dust down just like this. So now your build is complete, you can test it out and then you can build some housing around it. Okay, so gate goes down, right? And gate goes up. Gate goes down, gate goes up. Okay, so it's all working, perfect. Now I'm just gonna fill in this shit here because I don't want anything spawning. I hope that doesn't mess up the functionality. I mean, I could put torches in here, but if you have a stone generator, you also have unlimited stone. So, you know, get a stone generator and figure it out. And let's see. I'll fill this shit in too, and here, and right here as well. Okay, so that's all filled in. I guess I'm gonna need way more stone. All right, so I decided to house the front like this. I think uh, this design could be a little bit better. I might la I might add some lava into the uh, center areas here and here. And uh, I'll figure out a lighting situation and everything, but for the moment, I'm gonna call this good enough. The gate still opens and closes, so that's perfect. When we go through and look at the other side, I still haven't figured out how I'm going to house it back here. I might not even do it. That's also a possibility. I might be too lazy. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful and have a good one. See you next time.